Welcome back. We continue to celebrate black history. This morning, we're taking you to Liberty County, where a trailblazing pioneer rose from the constraints of racism to change history. Still, few outside of the coastal empire and low country have even heard the name Susie King Taylor. We're sharing her remarkable story through the eyes of one woman who continues to document her life's journey. In the small town of Midway sits the first and only museum in the country, solely dedicated to the life of Civil War heroine Susie King Taylor. This is a album recording uh, read by Eartha Kitt and Moses Gunn. Hermina Glass Hill is the curator. She's also the founder and executive director of the Susie King Taylor Women's Institute and Ecology Center and president of the Liberty County Historical Society. When we first met Hill back in 2017, she just left her hometown of Atlanta to take up residence in Taylor's birthplace. I came here on this quest looking for something, but what I came looking for was looking for me too. Her mission to elevate Taylor's story, one she says is seldom told. I was so enamored with this woman who is from Georgia, who most Georgians and most Americans don't know, yet she played a significant role in the watershed of our, our country's moment uh, towards freedom, which was the Civil War and, and thereafter. Since that time, she's covered a lot of ground. In 2019, the Georgia Historical Society dedicated a marker to Susie King Taylor in Midway. In addition to opening the museum last year, Glass Hill traveled to Boston, where Taylor was buried, to bear witness to a history-making moment. 109 years after her death, Taylor's unmarked grave finally received a headstone. The Sons of Union Veterans of the Civil War were responsible for the new headstone, uh, and we're so grateful that she is acknowledged in this way. In her constant search for knowledge, Hill continues to make fascinating discoveries. We found two additional uh, publications of Susie King Taylor uh, outside of her biography. During her contemporary times, there were others who were writing about her, like the local newspaper who in Boston who um, did an article on her as the uh, uh, first colored woman in Boston to become an author. And then there's also her work with the Woman's Relief Corps. Her goal is to capture the essence of who Taylor was. She is, is a person whose significance is on the cusp between slavery and freedom. Born into slavery in Liberty County, Taylor made her mark as a Civil War laundress, freedom-fighting nurse, teacher, and social justice advocate. She opened schools in Savannah and Midway during a period when education was denied to black people. She even wrote her autobiography. That we know anything about her is because she wrote this sweet little 84-page um, memoir of her life in the United States Color Troops, the first South Carolina volunteers. And it was from really... Uh, dissecting her book. Hill's mission has now turned into a global movement to give Taylor the respect and recognition she deserves. I had a dream that um, I would tell her story wherever I went and that uh, her story would be amplified and elevated just as Harriet Tubman's story is. In case you're wondering what's next, the Susie King Taylor Women's Institute and Ecology Center is now planning to build the Susie King Taylor Escape to Freedom Underground Railroad Park in Liberty County.